Welcome to Saigon. This city is the most in sync orchestrated chaos in the world. This place reminds me of New York so much. There is more restaurants than shops than there is like humans. This is the walking district. At night, families will bring their kids out, hang out. All the teenagers come out here to hang out and it's just the vibe. And they do this almost every night of the week. It's packed here. The people in the city hustle like New York and they party like Vegas. They don't sleep here. The culture here is everybody come out at night to enjoy the street food. There's so much desserts everywhere and coffee shops are always packed. You will see people enjoying coffee even at midnight. I don't know how they sleep. But again, they don't sleep here. This place reminds me of Times Square. So we try to avoid eating at fancy tourist place. We're here to experience what the locals eat. So this is Po Am Tuk. And this is probably one of the things that I love the most about Vietnam is dining on these um, kids plastic chairs and just enjoying a hot pot and beer. After a little sightseeing and some food, it's time to check out the party scene. This is Bui Vien Street. This place put Vegas into shame. Like, I was so overwhelmed. It's incredible. So we did not try the balloon thing, but this is like huge in all of the clubs in Vietnam. I hope it's worth the brain cells for a few seconds of dizziness. That was really an incredible experience. Now we're heading back to my hotel in Saigon. I booked this place for about $45 for three nights and it's really nice and look at this view. The whole point of this trip was for me to get some beauty cosmetic done on my face, dental work, and our engagement photo shoot, which otherwise would cost us like seven times more for these services in the state. If you want to know what your money can buy you in Vietnam, follow me as I take you into the um, hotel expense, food expense, and all these services, including some of my cosmetic work, and you will not believe what your money is worth here. Follow for part two, and this is just some of our favorite dishes while in Saigon. Been craving for chicken eggs for years, like over a decade. I could not find this in the state. Oh my goodness. This is Ho Siu Nam Bang. I ordered two versions, one with the soup and one dry that comes with the soup on the side and they already have the sauce in here. Add your vegetables. You gotta enjoy the pickled garlic and pepper on the side. This is broken rice. I'm on a hunt for goat hot pot. This place has been around even before the war, I heard. This is actually quail eggs with the baby inside. And this is our uh, goat meat. If you don't know what to do, she will assist you. One of my favorite things to eat is duck eggs, um, the balut, but over here they have the quail balut. Baby quail balloons. Oh my gosh. It is officially like one of my new obsession, but we don't have this in the state. Eat it with a little bit of vegetable. I love these bananas. They're my favorite. Smart. They put some cute kids on the tour. She's got the bokeh. She's got the bokeh here. It's the bokeh that got you. And part two of the night, the goat hot pot. Let's just see what is in here. There is a oh, there's goat in here. So here is the meat on the side. This is the uh, I think kidney. And this is the uh, brain. And this is the uh, bone marrows. These, she said, supposed to be like very rich. It comes with noodles of your choice and the vegetables. Let's start with some tofu in here. This is 
hands down the best goat experience I've ever had and I had to go across the country for this. This place, the minute we walk in, like you can smell the goat. You know how goat have this uh, very gamey smell? It just smells so good the minute you step in and I mean, I am not disappointed. I'm so glad that I went on a plane this far to experience this. Mary had a little lamb and we ate it. Yeah. <laughs> Here's that goat and their delicious dipping sauce. I wish you guys could taste it. Enjoy. This is so good. I died happy if I get hit by a car after this. Just saying. Travel tips. So you see these uh, wet naps that they put on the table? You use it, you get charged. So pack your own baby wipes and hand sanitizer. This is the standard $35 a night in Saigon and as you can see we are in the center of everything and there is your bathroom and shower. Excuse my face, still a little swollen and I can barely talk, very unnatural but that's because I got some work done while I'm here but that's another segment that I want to share with you ladies where um, this is my whole point of coming here is to do some work and I'm going to show you guys how much it costs here and take you into the results. Now today I want to cover the hotel. If we knew what we knew today, we would have saved so much money on cab rides. And it's not even about the cab rides, but if you're staying in a hotel that is only 20 minutes away from the central area, it actually takes almost an hour to get around because there's just so much traffic. Again, there's 20 million motorbikes and 4 million cars. And so um, I decided to ditch my other booking, even though I paid for it already, just to switch to this one because it was just closer to everything and um, it would save us in the long run. It saves us so much more on the cab rides and just time saving traffic. You can get a really decent, nice hotel around here, standard about between $20 to uh, $35 a night. Look at this restaurant right across from our hotel. Hotel is right across the street from Boy Bing. I'm gonna take you guys into the madness. I wish we stay here the first night so we can just drink and walk back into our room right across the street. After a night of drinking, there's so many good banh mi plays on the street around the hotel, and you're 10 minutes walk from this Bintan Market. This is a Bintan Market. It is huge. It was about a 10 minutes walk from our hotel. Look at this. Ooh, and then uh, there's this Gucci one too big luggage here is some um, dress shoes here's the Jordans it runs about 35 to 40 dollar a pair look at this LV here this market seriously has some of the best quality knockoff now when you're done shopping you can enjoy some fresh seafood and they have all kinds of rice and noodle dishes I did not realize how close our hotel is across to the party street it's literally across the street so thank goodness I got my mask and Okay. Gotta get some Saigon banh mi before we head out here. Haven't had any banh mi since we've been here, so I'm excited. There was no sleeping last night with all that noise. We are checking out of here to check into one of the best hotels in Saigon, and I'll show you guys what you can get for $110 a night. With only $110, you can stay at one of the nicest hotels in Saigon. This is the La Villa Saigon Hotel. There is a master control for all the lightings and curtains and the bed and the bed sheet itself is so comfortable and not to mention the breathtaking view of Saigon. When traveling, we like to eat what the locals eat and we like to support the small local businesses. In the state, I feel like we get enough fancy restaurants. So when I travel, I seek out for the most authentic, most um, all the locals hidden gems or local favorites i want to take you into their restaurant anyways because it's just so gorgeous and this is the rooftop they have live performance on the weekend and this infinity pool with the breathtaking view the pool is closed early but it's still beautiful even though we stay at a fancy place we still support our local vendors bánh mì saigon vừa nóng vừa giòn bánh mì saigon bánh mì saigon vừa nóng Vừa nóng Vừa giòn Vừa giòn Yeah Vừa <laughs> And Dylan, look 12 midnight He quit school so he can help his mom See? He stopped going to school so he can run a business We fancy, huh? 
look at Hope Deal and this view. Right across the street from our hotel is a very good Bung Bao Hui place. Let's go, I'm hungry. This place specializes in food from Hue, which is the central Vietnam where all the emperors and king lives. So all the best food come out of this place because it was made for the emperors and the kings. This looks amazing and this is the sweetest, freshest coconut I have ever tasted. This is Bung Bao Hue. It's a beef noodle soup with pig legs and this is Bun Dap. It's one of my favorite snacks. And this is Bun Bao. And after a big meal, we decided to go for a swim to enjoy the most breathtaking, incredible view of Saigon. This has got to be the best sunset view in the entire city of Saigon. And not to mention the reflection of the sunset in the river. I got the best sleep in the most comfortable bed since our travel to Vietnam. They serve free breakfast with a huge variety of food, including delicious sweet tropical fruits. That was a very satisfying breakfast and this view was the cherry on top. This hotel, they're so detail oriented up to um, checking out. They have a scale to help us weigh all of our luggage to make sure that we meet the standards at the airport. Follow part four as we take you into Da Nang with us. We have only about two weeks in Vietnam, so we try to save time from traveling on the road. We book a flight from Saigon to Da Nang, which was a two-hour flight, $150 to, for two person, and our hotel was about $55 for three nights. The people at Da Nang are very sweet. I just love the people at this hotel. It was the best experience because of them. I lost my phone at the airport, and she called. She realized someone had my phone. She went to the airport, picked up my phone for me, so when I checked in, she had my phone. And when I was out, I left the cash on the table. They actually cleaned around it. We arrived around midnight, everything was closed, but we're able to find this one spot that served eel hot pot. It was so fabulous and they have fresh seafood. Our whole entire um, plan for Da Nang trip has changed due to the rain. So this is what we missed out on. Although I missed out on all the sightseeing, but I was on a mission to hit up all the foodie spots, I found this spot on TikTok. This is like a pork um, spring roll, and this fish paste was so amazing, and it was so worth it. This is the same version as the spring roll, except in noodle form. And then I also found this spot on TikTok. is a avocado smash with shredded coconut. It was so delicious. And this is some of the other noodle dishes in Da Nang. But when in Da Nang, you cannot say you've been to Da Nang without experiencing the mi guan and this is the frog mi guan and surprisingly the frog tastes just like chicken even better follow me into part five as i take you into old town of hoi an this place is just magical hoi an is a small charming little old town in vietnam we kickstart our trip with some starbucks yes they have starbucks there and this was our first meal porridge baby clam porridge with short ribs so good this was our hotel about twenty dollar a night this town is known for custom made suits and shoes so we after we checked in we went to go get the measurements right away because they can do it within 24 hours look at this assembly they actually do hand quilted and these are custom shoes that can do it in 24 hours we could not wait to get that out of the way so we can dress up and hit town for some good food and drinks this is my first time trying hu du in Hoi An. Every region makes it a little bit different. And this is Gao Lao. That's actually my first time having that. This cute little town is such a vibe. It's so romantic. It's got that French influence in the architecture. And then of course the oriental traditional vibes with all the lanterns everywhere you go. 
and they're known for the lanterns here at Hoi An. We took a $10 boat ride out and you can purchase the candles to make wishes. We bought our own beer onto the boat and just kick back and enjoy the ride. You can bring your beer everywhere here, into the cab, uh, into restaurants, just ask for ice, and as long as you're not driving. There was a lot of fancy restaurants for the tourists, but when traveling, this is the best way to eat. In this little town, Hoi An, is where I discovered my absolute favorite dish since we've been to Vietnam. I thought I ordered quail eggs only, but it turns out that that's balut quail eggs. There's an actual baby in there, and it tastes 10 times better than duck balut, which I don't think we can find that back in the States. The quail balutes? That was incredible. Cheers to that. Our hotel offered a free breakfast with that $20 a stay. Isn't that incredible? So we get bread with eggs breakfast or the Vietnamese breakfast. They were serving mi guan. So good. We started our day out with something light to eat. I found a place that served one of my favorite appetizers. This is the steamed rice paper with crispy uh, rice paper outside and they press it so they call it up. And this is your baby clam salad. It was a perfect start with a beer. And while we enjoy all that eating in less than 16 hours, these ladies complete our custom-made suits. For the three-piece is less than $120 and for two-piece is $100. And on our way out of Hoi An, we stopped by this little village called the Coconut Village where um, you ride these coconut boats. That was a lot of fun, but I'm hungry again. So our cab guide brought us to this fabulous seafood place. This was so good, the best shrimp I've ever had. Come with me as I take you guys into the city of Hue, where there is so much history there. It's beautiful. Hue is a place where my father is born, and this is also where the bloodiest Vietnam War battle was taking place. There's so much history here. Hue is where all the emperors and kings lived. The complex of Hue Monument site has suffered from the effects of three wars, as well as modern development and expanding human settlements. I was only here for one day, so we got the chance to visit the tomb of Kai Din. The tomb of Emperor Kai Din is located 7 kilometers to the south of Hue in Vietnam on a steep hillside. This tomb is the last and the most ornate of the many tombs constructed in and around Hue by the emperors of Nguyen dynasty. Emperor Kai Din was the second to the last emperors of Vietnam. Emperor Kai Din commenced construction of the tomb complex in 1920 and the construction was completed in 1935 by his successor after his death in 1931. The interior of Tin Din's palace is best described as a combination of an early Vietnamese style and a combination of the 16th century of French palace. The ceilings feature painting and the walls are inlaid with glass and ceramic mosaic. Every square inch of the crib room has been ornately decorated and at the center of the room, the expensive life-size statue of the emperor sits on top of the coffin topped by a bronze canopy shaped to resemble fabrics and weighing more than 1,000 kilograms. The position of the tomb was worked out carefully, as you know, when he first came to the throne, he ordered feng shui tellers to go around the country to choose the best feng shui place for him to build the tomb. More specifically, the tomb is on Chao Chu's mountain and faced to the Perfume River. After climbing all these stairs, I am starving. Now, some of the best food comes from Hue because it was made for kings. You can find escargot and it's actually one of the main like drinking food, street food, very popular amongst the Vietnamese because we're influenced by the French. Bung Bo Hue is Hue's specialty. It's a beef noodle with pig leg soup and it's got blood cake. You serve it over noodles and vegetable. This is Ban Bèo. It's a very uh, popular Hue dish and there's also ban bok lok, which is like wrapped in a banana leaf. I did not try that. This is baby clam over rice. After that big meal, we just need a cup of coffee before we clock out of Hue. I'm here at the citadel, which is right behind the kingdom's wall. I did not have time to explore the kingdom and to see the beauty of the monuments, but I'm just so taken away by the fact that this place still exists even after the war. We got to see the life, the people um, around the village, of course, inside the kingdom, but we didn't get to see and explore inside the beautiful kingdom where the kings once lived. Now come with me to Halong Bay. It's such a magical place you don't want to miss. This is our hotel in Hanoi. Got it for about like $45 a night and I do love the shower. A 
flower bed and the balcony view. We're only here for a day and a half, so my goal is to try some Hanoi Pho and the infamous egg coffee. In Vietnam, doesn't matter what regions or town you go to, it's the same scene. People love the dessert. These are all desserts. They come out late at night to eat desserts, and all the coffee shop is filled, doesn't matter what time of the day. They're drinking coffee at midnight. This is our first meal in Hanoi, and this is the uh, duck vermicelli. And this is the vibe right now here in Hanoi at 11. You cannot say you visit Hanoi without trying the bún chả Hanoi. This is the specialty. I found this spot on TikTok and this is the best place. It was so good. We're going to have some Hanoi pho. So over here, they dice your meat. It's a Hanoi style and it goes right on top like this. Came all the way to Vietnam for this bowl of pho. Mm. Wow, that beef is so tender. My life is forever changed. You cannot find this in the U.S. Like I've tried to find like chicken eggs uh, with pho, with chicken pho, but um, it's very limited. So this dish is all chicken eggs, you guys, and they stir fry it with some gizzards. Ooh, yours have beef, and mine have s cargo. They serve duck eggs kind of different here. They take it out. We get to try the Hanoi egg coffee. I'm assuming that's raw egg. So the condensed milk, this is Cafe Suda. Come with me to the next episode. I will take you into Halong Bay. You will not believe how little it costs for the cruise and what it includes. This is one of the new Seven Worlds Wonder of Nature. This is truly heaven on earth. I was looking forward to this part of our itinerary to Vietnam. This is Halong Bay. They welcome us with a lion dance and a nice lunch buffet. For only $120, our uh, cruise includes lunch, breakfast, and dinner for both days and all the excursions. And this is the view of our bedroom. We went in February, so the weather is a little cold, but it's perfect though for Vietnam. It's not so hot. And the first excursion, they take us to an island. I guess this is the monkey island where we got to see a bunch of monkeys scratching their balls and doing other monkey business. I think we're pleasure blocking these two, but that's enough of monkey business. Now, um, going on to the second excursion of the day, they took us to an island where you have an option to hike up the top of the mountains or you can just hang out, look pretty on the sand and take lots of photos while my fiance went hiking to the top of the mountains. And we got back to the boat just in time for some sunset photos, but there wasn't much sun. Now, isn't this a sight to wake up to? It only gets better, you guys. This is such a view to wake up to. I feel like I'm inside a painting. Now, anyone who follows me knows that I'm obsessed with pho. So we woke up to a buffet a breakfast, which offers a um, American breakfast omelet of your choice. You can make uh, your own omelets or you can have the traditional pho. And here is the beef options or chicken. And look at this view. It was like a dream come true for me to enjoy a bowl of pho with this view. I never thought that I could actually have this moment. Um, in my lifetime but i was so grateful to be here and that bowl of pho is so satisfying i drank a bit too much last night so i stay in and went back to sleep after bowl of pho so my fiance went out to the uh, second day excursion to a um cave they call it the surprise cave i asked him what's the name of the cave he says surprise cave because <laughs> he don't even know the name of it 
but it looks pretty cool. I got a lot of cosmetic work done while I'm in Vietnam, and I even got my engagement photo shoot done very cheap, so don't miss the next video. I'll share with you what your money can buy in Vietnam. If you have been following my Vietnam vlog, then you have been waiting for this moment. Um, today, I'm going to share with you the real reason why I went to Vietnam, so let's get straight into it. I went back because I wanted to do a bunch of work and um, other things that you will see in this video that I will cover. So instead of uh, spending all that money here in the US, I decided to just make a vacation out of it and we spent fraction of the price compared to what we would here for everything that you're about to see in this video and plus it's like getting a free vacation and more before i get into all of that i do want to give you guys one important travel tip that you must know before um, traveling out of the u.s because this is where your money comes into value it's crazy but i learned that um the american dollar really don't have a lot of values in vietnam or even a lot of country I thought that, you know, our US dollar have like a lot more value and so I would be safe traveling with that anywhere around the world. So we traveled back with a bunch of uh, $100 bills because it was just, you know, more convenient and less to carry and thought that we might get more for um, the exchange. So when we try to go and exchange that at the bank in Vietnam, um, we had 10 bills and after they examined all 10, they barely took one of the bills and all of them were like pretty new. But if there was a tiny little nick on the corner or like there's a bent or a little cut, it just has to be like spanking crispy brand new bills. Otherwise they won't take it. And so we ended up having to go to a jewelry store and we have to um it's almost like a pawn shop so we have to try to sell our hundred dollar bills <laughs> for you know less than uh, and it goes also by the daily rate because their money daily rate goes up and down um it was quite a process and i have tried to purchase at a few um uh, stores with the american dollars um and they also have to go by the daily exchange rate and though the person who's at the jewelry store bought our money back the hundred dollar bills for let's say 80 bucks um she can take it to the u.s bank and at that hundred dollar is still a hundred dollar so that doesn't change anyways that was a wild thought and so i really wanted to share with you guys that travel tip before um that was actually one of the most important tips that i wanted to share with you so uh, let's get into what your money can buy my main mission was to buy lashes they are two dollar for a box of 10. i think i bought like over 200 boxes or whatever she had available and vietnam have some of the best quality replicas and they're really cheap so I lose my glasses all the time. I am picking up one. These are like $15 for the lens. And they literally measure your eye right there in like less than 10 seconds. And then he makes this instantly within five minutes. You have your lens in five minutes. Look at the style. Not bad, right? These are custom-made shoes, very high-quality leather, and it takes them about 12 hours to deliver, and they're like less than 100 bucks. The town of Hoi An have some of the best custom-made suits in the world. For only 100 bucks for a set of three, I pay 50 bucks for this custom-made pants because I'm very petite, so I took the opportunity to make some pants for myself. We pay 100 bucks for this three-piece suits. Everybody fly to Vietnam to get their veneer done, and I'll tell you why. So I found this uh, dentist guy on TikTok. He's pretty well known for his work, as you can see. And this is uh, done after 48 hours. In the U.S., to get this kind of work done takes almost a year with so many appointments. There's a lot of different veneer um, qualities, ranges from 3000 to 9000 which would cost you about 50000 60000 here in the U.S. to do veneer on the whole entire mouth. We did our engagement shoot for only $500, comes with an album, three dresses, three suits, makeup and hair included. You can't even rent one dress for 500 bucks here in US. This is an indoor and outdoor studio. We got in so many different concepts in one day. So I just got my fillers done on the cheek and my chin. Soon, um, in a little bit, I'm gonna do the bottom of my eyes as you guys can see right here. Okay. 
I am swollen as shit. This is um, right after done. Not the right way. I can this is exactly one week after lips, i bruised so. quite a bit and that took a while for the bruising to go away but this is my video before all the procedure this is my three week progress and i'm still a little swollen but as you can see the botox kicked in so there is no more fine lines under the eyes and my forehead and this is my one month progress as you can see all the swelling went down everything's starting to look more natural with the fillers on my cheek and my lips looking really pouty and cute and as you can see under my eyes there is no more bags i pay less than fifteen hundred dollars to take away 10 years and a new face if you want more info on all these services go to my instagram Thank you for watching and as always, you guys know I always try to be as honest and as informative or as helpful as possible in all of my vlogs, whether it is beauty or food reviews. So you've seen how amazing those uh, photo shoot video clips is. If you want to see what the picture turn out to look like or what a $500 uh, photo session would look like, then follow my Instagram because I'm going to have all of my engagement photo shoot on there. And of course, um, if you want to see more photos of my before and after or my, follow my progress as I heal or settle in, um, just go ahead and follow my Instagram because I am going to be sharing uh, lots of photos on there. Thanks for watching. Till next time.